Ever wondered about the origins of the soulful Southern cuisine, a cuisine that's as rich and diverse as the Southern United States itself? It's a culinary tradition that's been shaped by a melting pot of cultures and at its heart, the African-American community. A cuisine that's not just about food, but a way of life. Think of Southern cuisine and images of crispy fried chicken, creamy macaroni and cheese, hearty collard greens, and earthy black-eyed peas probably come to mind. But these dishes are more than just soul-warming comfort food. They are symbolic of a history that's been passed down through generations, a story of resilience and a celebration of culture. Southern cuisine has evolved over centuries, adapting to changes while staying true to its roots. It's a cuisine that's steeped in tradition, yet always open to innovation. So, are you ready for a culinary journey? Join us as we dig into the roots of these mouth-watering dishes and how they have shaped Southern culture. Southern cuisine didn't just magically appear. It has a deep-rooted history, particularly in the African-American community. The culinary traditions of enslaved Africans, masterfully adapted to the ingredients available in the New World, have significantly influenced the evolution of Southern cuisine. Let's journey back to the 17th and 18th centuries, when enslaved Africans were forcibly brought to the Southern United States. With them, they carried the rich and diverse culinary traditions of their homelands, which would later become the backbone of Southern cuisine. Enslaved Africans, being skilled agriculturalists, introduced several staple crops to the New World. Among these were okra, black-eyed peas, and rice, all of which are now cornerstones of Southern cuisine. Okra, a versatile vegetable, became a key ingredient in gumbo, a hearty soup that is now synonymous with Southern cooking. Black-eyed peas, a staple in many African diets, found their way into Hoppin' and John, a traditional Southern dish served on New Year's Day to bring good luck. And then there's rice, which became the base of many iconic Southern dishes like jambalaya and red beans and rice. But it wasn't just about introducing new ingredients. Enslaved Africans used their culinary skills to transform available ingredients into delectable dishes. They took the less desirable cuts of meat, like pig's feet and chitterlings, and turned them into soul food classics. They used greens such as collards and mustards to create nourishing and flavorful side dishes. They baked breads and pastries like cornbread and sweet potato pie that have become southern staples. This fusion of African culinary techniques with local ingredients wasn't just about survival. It was also about preserving a piece of their cultural identity amidst the harsh realities of slavery. This blending of old and new, of tradition and adaptation, laid the foundation of the distinctive southern cuisine we know today. As the years rolled by, southern cuisine began to evolve, incorporating influences from other cultures. Southern cuisine didn't just stop at the African influences, it continued to evolve and adapt, borrowing flavors from Native American, European, and other immigrant cuisines. Post the Civil War era, the South was a place of significant change and development. The culinary landscape was no exception. The Native Americans, with their deep-rooted knowledge of the land, introduced Southern cooks to a variety of indigenous ingredients. Corn, beans, and squash, known as the Three Sisters, became staples of the Southern diet. These ingredients found their way into a variety of dishes, from cornbread and succotash to bean stews and pumpkin pies. The European influences, particularly from the British and the French, brought in a whole new array of cooking techniques and ingredients. The British introduced their love for meats and pies, leading to the creation of dishes like country ham and chicken pot pie. The French, on the other hand, brought their exquisite sauces and their fondness for rich, buttery pastries. This influence is evident in the creamy, hearty gravies that are a hallmark of Southern cuisine and the flaky, buttery biscuits that are a beloved Southern staple. And then there were the other immigrants. Italian immigrants, for instance, introduced pasta to the South. This led to the creation of a Southern comfort food classic, macaroni and cheese. The dish, with its creamy, cheesy goodness, quickly became a hit and remains a favorite to this day. A significant development was the introduction of fried chicken, Originally from Scotland, fried chicken was quickly adopted and adapted by the Southern cooks. They added their own twist to it, marinating the chicken in a mix of buttermilk and spices before frying it to crispy golden perfection. The result was a dish that was so delicious and distinctive, it became synonymous with Southern cuisine. The Southern table became a melting pot of cultures, each adding a unique flavor to the cuisine. This fusion of flavors, techniques, and ingredients gave rise to the Southern cuisine we know and love today. And as we'll see in the next segment, it continued to evolve and adapt, reflecting the changing times and tastes. 
The civil rights movement in the 1960s had a profound impact on American society, and Southern cuisine was no exception. As the struggle for racial equality unfolded, food became a platform of expression, resistance, and unity. The term soul food, rooted in the Southern culinary tradition, emerged as a symbol of African-American pride and identity. This term was coined in the mid-20th century, during the height of the civil rights movement. It referred to the hearty, flavorful dishes that sustained enslaved Africans and their descendants through centuries of hardship and oppression. Soul food, with its delectable array of fried chicken, macaroni and cheese, collard greens and black-eyed peas, became more than just a meal. It was a way to connect with a shared heritage, to remember the past, and to foster a sense of community. These dishes, steeped in history and tradition, resonated with the African-American populace and became a source of comfort during turbulent times. Communal meals also played a pivotal role in the civil rights movement. Protests, sit-ins, and marches were often followed by gatherings where people shared food, stories, and strategies. Southern dishes, familiar and nourishing, were served as a form of sustenance and solidarity. These meals brought people together, breaking down barriers and strengthening the resolve of those fighting for justice and equality. Churches too were significant in this era, serving as meeting places for activists and community members. After Sunday services, parishioners would often share a meal, usually comprising Southern staples. These gatherings were not just about nourishing the body, but the soul as well, providing a space for fellowship and mutual support. This culinary tradition served as a powerful reminder of the resilience and strength of the African-American community. It was a testament to their ability to create something beautiful and nourishing from the most meager of resources. Even in the face of adversity, they found ways to feed both body and spirit, turning simple ingredients into dishes that spoke of history, struggle, and hope. Food was not just sustenance, it was a powerful symbol of unity and resistance. Fast forward to today, Southern cuisine enjoys popularity not just in the South, but across the globe. The irresistible flavors and hearty meals that define this culinary tradition have found their place on dining tables worldwide, from cozy home kitchens to upscale restaurants. It's more than just a style of cooking. It's a symbol of warmth, hospitality, and a shared history that resonates with people universally. Southern cuisine's representation in popular culture has been significant. It's seen in movies, television series, and countless cookbooks, painting a tantalizing picture of the South's culinary landscape. From the comforting bowls of shrimp and grits in the heart of Georgia, to the mouth-watering fried chicken in the bustling streets of Memphis, these dishes have become synonymous with the American South, embodying its spirit and soul. Moreover, the influence of Southern cuisine on the modern food scene is undeniable. It has inspired a wave of culinary innovation, with chefs reinventing traditional dishes with a contemporary twist. You'll find collard greens sautéed with garlic and chili, black-eyed peas simmered in a rich coconut curry, or macaroni and cheese baked with a topping of crunchy breadcrumbs and bacon. These innovative takes on Southern classics showcase the versatility of this cuisine, demonstrating how it continues to evolve while staying true to its roots. But amidst this culinary evolution, there's been a resurgence of traditional recipes. Home cooks and professional chefs alike are revisiting the classics, bringing back dishes that have stood the test of time. There's something profoundly satisfying about a plate of slow-cooked barbecue ribs, a side of buttery cornbread, or a slice of sweet velvety pecan pie. These dishes, steeped in tradition and generations of wisdom, hold an enduring appeal. From humble beginnings to global recognition, Southern cuisine continues to delight palates while carrying forward a rich cultural legacy. Whether it's the comforting familiarity of traditional dishes or the exciting innovation of modern interpretations, Southern cuisine today is a testament to its enduring charm and universal appeal. So, that's the journey of Southern cuisine, a testament to resilience, adaptability, and the power of good food. We've traced its roots back to Africa, seeing how the traditions of one continent found new life in another. We've followed its evolution through the ages, watching as it adapted and grew, never losing its soul or its flavor. We've seen how it played a vital role during the civil rights movement, providing comfort and unity in times of struggle. And we've explored its status today, as a beloved part of American culinary culture. Southern cuisine is more than just a collection of dishes. It's a story of survival, transformation and triumph. It's a testament to the power of food to connect us, to our past, to each other, and to the broader world.
Next time you dig into a plate of fried chicken or a bowl of mac and cheese, remember, you're not just enjoying a meal, but a piece of history.